Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> We're not in France. No. We're in England. We're in Manchester. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, my birthday. It's your it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Say happy birthday. <laughs> you don't have a day over seventy. Oh wait. Oh <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, we're in Manchester. Um looking around. Uh don't really have any particular plans, but we might move here so um yeah, yeah checking out a few areas that we haven't been to uh we might have a viewing on saturday today is thursday so uh hopefully hopefully it'll go through and if we like the place we might end up actually uh yeah moving here yeah so we're just checking out the areas and the metal scene yeah really. gonna check out the metal scene apparently there's loads of metal bars rock bars and some alternative shops, so yeah, we'll get all that. And some today. nice craft beer places as well. Yep. Gotta check them out too. Yeah. Very important. Um, so yeah, just uh, went to this river bit, which apparently goes almost all the way to, or may maybe the entire way to that Ancoats area, which is allegedly quite a cool area. Yeah, it goes all the way into the city. All the way to the city, so, yeah. Yeah, a big long canal. Walk, so. Might go and uh, yeah, go and check that out now and uh, yeah. yeah, see what it's like. Yeah. Exciting new stuff. It is. We got here yesterday, but they uh, couldn't be asked to film anything because uh, the journey was a little bit of a mission, as usual. Um, but yeah, checked into a hotel. Very compact, small room, but functional. Quite cheap. Cheap. It's like four hundred and fifty pounds. 450 for four pounds nights. for two people for four nights. That's no not too bad. No yeah. breakfast thing. Yeah, well, you can get breakfast, but it costs extra. Yeah. So, not too bad, really. Wow, look at that. That's a massive abandoned building. Hang on, I'm just turning the camera. That's that a been, yeah, old big ass ab abandoned building. Looks, looks very abandoned. There's people in there, though. Oh yeah, there's a few there's a few things in the, those windows there, but the rest just looks I don't know, it might not be right, it just looks very run down. <laughs> looks very Detroit. <laughs> but uh, who knows? Who knows? There's a person in there. Big ass building. Yeah, lovely little walk here. It's like a, a mini version of Camden. Or like the Camden look. Yeah, yeah it does remind me of that. It's nowhere near as busy, which is quite nice. Yeah. Yeah, obviously in Manchester, like one of the reasons we want to move here is because London gets stupidly busy. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's getting, uh, yeah. Yeah. Tired of it, so. getting a little bit fed up with how busy everything is in London. So Manchester, while still being lively and vibrant, doesn't feel as overly busy. And we don't even live in London, but we have to commute to London. We have to commute. It takes us about nothing where we. Live. Yeah, door to door, it takes us about an hour, twenty minutes, an hour thirty minutes to get to London. Uh, Whereas if we do end up living here, it'll take us about half an hour walk, which is nice. We'll see. Ooh. Cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah, almost it's city now. I think we're in the Anko. Yeah, getting there. It's a really nice walk. Yeah, you just walk along this canal, yeah. basically the whole way. Yeah, it's been a very nice walk so far. Yeah, loads of yeah, new developments. Houses. Lots of new things being built. Yeah. <coughs> loads of new houses, new... Yeah, it looks, like, it looks like it's mainly terraced houses, but like they're obviously very modern. Yeah. Looks like built to a very high quality. And uh, they're knocking down old buildings as well. and. Getting ready to build even more stuff. Obviously, like keeping all the ones. 
like yeah. It's got like a modern industrial feel. Yeah. Cool. Kind of hipster. Oh. Ish. Oh. Huh. Yeah, that's a nice boat down there. There. That's cool. Get some info. So apparently this is a metal venue. Yeah, they actually have metal gear. Pier hat. Pier hat. The pier hats. Uh, cool. I can hear it's sort of guitar. The one will be open, so look, they got. Alright. And they have gigs. Yeah. Cool. Obviously, yeah, I don't think it's open. I don't know if there's another entrance or not yet. If they're open later, we can just go and have a look. Yeah. Cool. Looks like that's uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, obviously, cool. I like the street yard. Yeah, it's really cool. It's a cool venue. Yeah. 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 He's cute. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Cut. <laughs> Love the little uh, cassette. How oh, funny. Cool. Yeah. Smells nice here. Yeah. Netflix. Big shop, well, different markets, isn't it? Indoor markets. Yeah, like a massive building with uh, lots of different Pretty random shops. Yeah, alternative Big quirky shops. shops. Yeah, shops. Market type of thing. This is my sort of shop. Yeah. Yes, you are. It smells nice in here. Yeah. Random <laughs> stuff. Who <laughs> <laughs> the fuck off? I'm meditating. That's great. Shit day, hun. You're so fucking cute. How oh, funny. You're laying, you're laying. How oh, funny. Oh, yeah. <gasps> That's nice. Yeah. I know. Yeah. That's like a call of dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That. I need that. Where a rainbow is hail Satan. That is brilliant. That's cool. There's so many cool things in here. Oh. <laughs> Don't be a dick. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh, that one. I, I want this one. Yeah. <laughs> and that one. Yeah, hell is other people. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh. <sighs> oh. Cool. Yeah, this is nice. Want a picture? <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's gotta be the thumbnail. <laughs> or part of it at least. I think I remember that shop was there. Yeah. We, we bought something from here last time. I think I bought a chain from here. Game Boy. Jesus. Oh my god. 100 quid. Mine doesn't work. Oh my work. god. So, such a shame it doesn't work. I know. Jesus. I got some money for that. All oh, the games, man. 30 quid for one of the games. Well, I've got all the games. I've got some games. I probably work somewhere. Oh, definitely. 40 quid for, for that Iron Man. And 10 for the rest, it's still, that's like, Jesus Christ, man, that's a lot of money. Please, yeah. That's a cool stuff over here. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. It's meant to be Utah, so. Yeah. Yeah, they have all uh, metal band shirts and golf stuff. Awesome. Oh, salt lamps. Cool. Let's have a peek. So much stuff in here. Cool. When I was younger, when I was younger, I had some of these. They have patches. Yeah, yeah. Go, and have a, go and have a look. Oh wow. Oh my god, we need that one oh, so god, bad. That. That's amazing. That's actually really cool. We, we played that game so much. I know. <laughs> How many hours have we clocked? 200, over 200 hours of so. CTR. Almost 200, yeah. Yeah. Retro game. Yeah. Love that. Another metal shop or punch shop. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I think I've been up here No. No, this doesn't ring a bell. Yeah. <laughs> 
What are they called? Daddy bears. Daddy, Daddy bears. bears. How funny. No. <laughs> <laughs> Autopsy report. Who is deceased? How fucking awesome is that? Blood type congealed. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Burger, burger, uh, burger plushie and a ketchup plushie <laughs> and a cake. And what is that like a smoothie or something? How funny! Oh my god, it's a controller. I love it. Is that is that N64? <laughs> How awesome is that? Yeah, loads of cool things, lots of nerdy, nerdy things here. Yeah, I'll turn to nerdy weird things. Oh, The Witcher. Ah, cool. All the Tolkien stuff, yeah. The Fall of Gondolin. Awesome. All these magazines and games and more cute things. I have all those Funko pop things as well. Oh yeah, Funko pops. Yeah. That will be expensive. And a lot of space. And a ton of space, yeah. It's cool, though. Yeah, it's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I saw this on TikTok. It just came up on my newsfeed. All right. And I started following the shop page, and then I, I saw where it was. I was like, oh, Manchester. Yeah. So this is a new. Alternative yeah, shop in uh, Ando. Yeah. Damage Society. Cool. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Back to the future. Oh, they have Kill Star stuff in here as well. Look. Oh yeah. Like nice. Something like Killstar. Yeah. What's that logo say? Oh yeah. That's amazing. Can't read the logo. That's awesome. That's called traveling in style. This is traveling in style for sure. Well, cool. You'll definitely be able to recognize the suitcase when it comes out on the uh, conveyor belt. That's amazing. They're only fifty pounds. Rosie, you need those. Yeah, no, it's so cool. Wow. Now oh, that's sexy. Yeah. Oh, all right. Cool. That's the ones that you bought in Halifax, isn't it? Yeah. It's just different model yeah. or different design. Oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> it's all awesome. How cute. <laughs> We should do a counter, like every time we say awesome or cute, it, like, it goes uh, up by one. <laughs> I really love those green boots up here, I see. You, you need these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so nice. On 
<laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I didn't know it was a chain. No. Yeah, this is the same shop in Sheffield. Yeah. And they have the cute panda shoes that are kind of. Oh, yeah, them ones. It's really cool. I didn't yeah, know I it was, uh, there was a few of them. No, I have no idea. Yeah. Loads of like uh, alternative things. Yeah. Cool. That was a cool find. Yeah, it was. How that was a surprise. Yeah, I can't the remember. Lakes, uh, none. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just stopped in Budo and got a nice black beer. Of course. Of course. Uh, so, good. so good. It's uh, Tartarus beers. Beer called Python. It's uh, rated, I think, 4.25 or something on Untapped. And it tastes so good. Stupidly good. It's over 12%. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's like, it's like 12.5 or 12.6 or something. Um, it tastes amazing. Highly recommend it. We both rated it 4.5 out of 5. So, yeah, um, yeah. Really, good. really, really good beer. Yeah. But yeah, this Brudog is, uh, Brudog is generally, feels pretty alternative, like quite rocky. And uh, this one is no exception. It's great. Yeah, there's always a ton of people working. Yeah, there is. And uh, the fridge is always really good. The fridge is very Some well stuck. That one's really good. This fridge is really good, yeah. yeah. Brudog Peter Street, Manchester. Uh, yeah, highly recommended. Might go and get another beer after this, because uh, they had one more that's also rated very highly, and uh, I'm very, very curious to try it. It's going to be a new thing. It's always like I love trying these new beers and just uh, exploring, finding something you haven't tried before, just to yeah, get as many different beers as you possibly can before you die. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a challenge. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they got the over there. They got the. It's called Paws of Fame. Pictures of people's dogs that Never come in here. Yeah, they have a dog market. Over there, they got dog mail. I don't know what that is, but it's really cute. And they've got a Led Zeppelin pinball machine. They got a Led Zeppelin pinball machine, yeah. And then Doctor No. And that dog mail might actually refer to brew dog mail. I just, I just realized that. Brew dog mail, yeah, but it's clearly called dog mail. It's cute. I like that. But yeah, paws are famous, definitely. I haven't seen that before. I haven't seen Have any you? of this merch either. No. Like brew dog merch, it's really cool. Yeah, it is. We go in so many brew dogs that yeah. we can't. We we kind of have to get a brew dog t-shirt or something. But yeah, it's a really nice one. Really nice brew dog here. Yeah. Oh, outside area is cool. Yeah, you can sit outside as well as benches. No, it's coming in. Oh, yeah. What up, us? <laughs> yeah. Loving it here. It's great. Yeah, there's like so many metalheads walking around. Honestly, so yeah. So many metalheads in Manchester. They're just, you just see them everywhere. Yeah. People with like weird colored hair and stuff. They just fucking love it, man. Green hair, blue hair. Purple, pink, whatever. Awesome. Just went to this uh, little beer shop called Beer Muff. Yeah. And we yeah just walked in and they were playing extreme metal. So. Uh, we got some really good stuff as well. Got a bun bunch of good oh, beers. We got all, that Dutch. All the Belgian beers that you can think of, and then they got a bunch of other things here. This is awesome. More building beers down there. It's amazing. How oh, fucking cool. Yeah. But the, that one looks tempting. Shimmer blue is always good. Yeah. And uh, that one looks tempting. I like them as well. I haven't had all of them. But yeah. Some bananas. Yeah. 
usually nice. Awesome. Yeah, it's like, fuck hell yeah. Do alcohol free show. That's cool. I'm not saying. What one? Uh, alcohol free show. Oh yeah. It's amazing. Beermoth. Highly, highly recommended beer shop in uh, Manchester. Yeah, you just go in and he's blasting death metal. Extreme. You just go in and he's blasting extreme death metal. Um, just I don't, I couldn't really recognize what band it was because uh, I don't, I don't think I, yeah. I didn't know the songs, but it sounded great. I love and, it, you're uh, just browsing for all these amazing beers. Yeah. While listening to, yeah. It just metal. completely took me by surprise. You just go to a, a shop that you know sells really good beers and he's blasting extreme metal as yeah, well. Yeah, didn't expect that. The guy obviously like a mega metal head. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we just bought three strong beers and uh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to support each other as well. Good price as well, like uh, f 15 pounds for, for three super strong, amazing Belgian beers. Yeah, that was decent. That is yeah. actually pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, can't complain. No. Guess what we ordered for dinner? <laughs> oh, poke. Standard. Another city, another poke bowl. We always get this shit, it's so good. We have to do it. It has, to be, it has to be done, honestly. That looks yummy, mm. yummy. Wow. I've already tried mine, of course. <laughs> A food porn. Yeah, you couldn't wait. Well, I get it, man. I want to try and dig in. Yeah. No matter where we go, we always see if uh, we always check out if there's any place that sell poke, and if there are, we buy it. Quite a few here. Yeah. Quite a few. At least, at least three. Definitely. Mm -hmm. We found another place that didn't even advertise poke, but they still sold it, so there yeah. might be quite a few more. I'm 41 years old. Hello. Hi. Oh. So where are we going? Yeah, they got this uh, gaming theme there. <laughs> no ukaga. Yeah, it's non-alcohol. Yeah, they got some here. Cool. Hey, my boy. <laughs> Kalabonga. Oh, it sounds good. Oh, yeah. Aku Aku. Yeah, more <laughs> This place is awesome. Love the statement on the floor. Second like Megan live. Alright. Oh yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, I got that wrong, yes, yeah, okay, so it's not, but it's, it's, not it's still, yeah, 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 true, 
Yeah, you can, you can get a few games. It, it's still quite expensive. Like, so that, that'll be like, yeah, so that'll be four, so that'll be how much? Yeah, okay, so two pounds. Yeah, okay, so it's like one pound per person. It's, yeah. I mean, I guess they they got to make their money somehow. It's it's not too bad. It, yeah, it's all right. But yeah, they got loads of cool machine, like cool arcade machines. They obviously, yeah, but it's all retro. So they got that. They got Mortal Kombat. They got uh, Tetris, Pac-Man, Mario Kart, uh, Killer Instinct. Um, yeah, go and have a look. Go. I'm gonna die for this shit, I'm gonna fuck myself. Oh my god. 